let the people know a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what you're getting ready to explain to them. All right, so how's it going, guys? My name is Perez. Um, I'm a local muralist from New Haven. I'm born and raised in this city. And pretty much this is my last mural piece. Um, my latest, I'm sorry, not my last, my latest mural piece. Yeah. And, um, and, you know, I have so many projects coming up. Um, you guys just stay tuned, follow me. At, uh, on Instagram is A-R-T-S underscore underscore C. Follow that. My Facebook is Perez Artsy. Yeah. Guys, follow me. We, I have a lot of projects coming up. This is going to be fun. All right, so like as far as this mural goes, right, I'm very, very cartoony. I'm very animated. Um, and, and I always like, every time I do a design, every time I do like, you know, any drawings, any artwork, I want to give the people like, the feeling of like a nostalgic feeling. Like, like, like back when you're like sitting at home and you're a kid and like, and you're just sitting there watching Saturday night cartoons, you don't have to worry about, there's no worries. You know, your parents are taking care of everything. As, as I was doing it, I had, you know, kids from, there's a, there's a LEAP youth group right there. Um, yeah, right down the street. Okay. And um, they had came by one day, and I, I, I think it was maybe like 20 kids. Yeah. And, and one of them stopped, and they were like, hey, it's funny, they were like, yo, bro, this kind of reminds me like I'm in like Cartoon Network. <laughs> and I'm like, and I get that, you know, I get it. Like, cause again, I'm very cartoony. And then, um, I would say maybe like a day later, there was an older like white gentleman, he walked by as well and he was like, I feel like I'm in Looney Tunes. Yeah. So like, it, it, it kind of like gives you the, the, like two different aspects of two different generations. Like one, one thing that, you know, they're in Cartoon Network and the other one's like, oh, I feel like I'm in Looney Tunes. And this view, if once, you know, when there's, when there's traffic flowing through here, where you're riding your bike through here, you're driving, yep. it kind of feels like if you're going straight into like a Toontown. Oh, gotcha, yeah. <laughs> you see what I mean? I, I gave it that effect. So that's why, like, if you look at it straight, yep. everything is kind of like flat and long. Right. But is the, the, you know, the, the, the point of this mural was just to see it in this view as you're coming this way, as you're driving this way. This is pretty much my world what I grew up in, um, you know, people question, oh, well, you know, is this Booster Square? Is this, I'm like, no, this is just, just the park. It's not even a park in New Haven. Yeah. It has a New Haven skyline, yep. but it, it doesn't, it's not a park in New Haven. This is just an imaginary park that I created because it's like, this is a day of no worry. This is a day of like, everybody's having a good time. People are just playing music with a couple. Like there's all different kind of cultures and backgrounds because this is how I, this is where I grew up in. This is what I, this is what I saw. Gotcha. Yeah, no, this is definitely a, definitely a dope vibe. And now having that understanding and, and looking at it, it's like, oh yeah, I can see it. You take, you take a look at this piece and it gives you like that good feeling, like because of the bright colors, because of like this, cartoon feeling that people get yeah. that like you know is this to me like this is this is what i feel every single time i do a piece like just like this like every time somebody sees this they're like oh wow because it's like it's so bright it's so colorful it's so you know what i mean like it's just again no worries like i dude came out he parked right here yeah. and he was like Bro, I loved it. He's like, I love the vibe. He was like, I'm a musician myself. And I'm like, I'm like, and you know, he said, sometimes I play maracas. He was like, but bro, can I get some dreads on that? Yeah. And I and I'm like, I'm like, I was like this. I'm like, listen, you know, my, my vision was to have everybody look alike. Yeah. You know, I didn't even have girls like ponytails and nothing. They all looked alike. Gotcha. Right? Yep. My man went and he let down those those dreads, bro. Yeah. They fell down like bro, Rapunzel, oh, bro. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I got you, bro. Yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. So I was like, bro, I got you. So like that same day, you know, I did not, you know what? I said, you know what? I started adding dreads, and then like this other dude that lived on those uh that complex. Okay. He was stopping by here every day. He was like, hey, you know what? What do, can we have somebody under the tree reading a book? Yeah. You know. So I just started adding things that you know as people walk by because like, you know, this is the community mirror. And those people that took the time to stop. Yeah. Like, like you said, they're here. They're yeah, in the yeah, community. exactly. So they're gonna see this all the time. Yeah. So just that dude knowing, oh, the judge are here because yeah. I said something. The runner knowing, oh, yeah. the runner's there because I stopped. Yeah. Like, 
the, that means that means the world. You know what I'm saying? And then that that ties them in. They're like, hey, you gotta go check out this mural. Yeah, there's a runner in there because I stopped and told the guy. You know what I'm no, saying? No, exactly. Besides the Black Lives Matter mural, like I don't do a lot of community murals, and I want you know, like I'm yeah. I'm I'm still like. You know, working with a lot of community leaders and stuff like that because, like, this is a different feeling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you can do small businesses here and there, yep. but when you have like the community involved, bro, like, and that gives you chills because, like, because like you're from here and you're touching them with your art, and yeah. Your passion, you know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, that's 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 great. Bro. So, um, Perez got this wall, but there's another one right across from us, and he preferred that one. I personally don't see the difference, but as the artist, he's gonna explain that to me. There's a certain, like, there's a respect from artist to artist that you know, if he, if I know that he comes here once every year, every two years, and tag this wall up, I'm not touching it. Gotcha. And because of that, that's why I wanted the wall across the street. But again, dude, if or female, whoever you are, if wh whoever used to put a powerful message on this Grand Avenue underpass where Ferraris used to be we need to find you like we need to talk to you we want to collaborate with you okay so there you have it i'm thinking it had something to do with art and nothing to do with that at all <laughs> so again whoever you are reach out they're looking for you now i was looking through your page yep. the dude him i need i need the explanation on him and is him really you that's a good question. <laughs> it's funny that you say that. Him is an abbreviation of he is me. I have two alter egos on my, uh, as far as like um, my characters. I have Mongo. Is that, that the monkey? Ma yeah. I'm gonna ask you about him next because he's hard and I Ma haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, Ma Mongo is the monkey, and then him, him is um, he's 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 in, he's an incorporation of like, again, I love cartoons, so I took Shy Guy from Mario. Of the Pac-Man Ghost. Okay, because yeah, that's what I was thinking. I the was like, his face looks like the Pac-Man the Pac Ghost. Yep. And then there's this new animated movie called MFKZ, okay. which is it's been around for like about three years. It's on Netflix. Gotcha. It's dope. Like yeah. it's it's crazy dope. I'm gonna have to check that out. So I took, you know, I I incorporated all three of them, and I was like, you know what? And that's as far as like the facial features, you know, the facial features. Yeah. Then that's how I created him. So tell me, the different things that you draw him doing. Art, or that stuff that you imagine yourself doing or yeah no pretty much what yeah everything that i draw him doing is what i do gotcha. yeah so like you know like when when he's posted you know like you know with a lot of like well there's a lot of drawings that i haven't posted yet okay but you know normally like you know his designs are like you know he's holding like rollers and paint brushes and stuff like that yeah. and he's in front of like of a of, of a wall or whatever gotcha. and then sometimes he's just posing like yeah. he's just you know doing poses for pictures that you know my wife randomly does so like uh, yeah yeah word, word. okay so now tell me the backstory on mongo mongo yeah all right mongo mongo is um again another character of mine's that is is he's really more like outgoing um i cliff jump okay i longboard right. um i rollerblade yeah. you know i do all this kind of stuff yeah. that that um that i've been doing for years and and that's not me though. Right. That's Mongo. Oh. Mongo is the extremist to me. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. So now, are you considering, or have you already made either of those characters into NFTs? No, no. Um, well, I tried because I'm I'm, un, I'm I'm uneducated about it. Okay. I don't know anything about that. Like I tried to like you know I did some Google search and stuff like that. Yep. Um. Um. And you know, watch YouTube tutorials and stuff like that. Yep. Um, but I guess it really hasn't really caught me or my attention yeah. to really dive in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's fair. I will, I will definitely encourage you, though, to continue on that research. Yep. As an artist who already has a following, who already has a couple dope characters, yep. all you have to do is make them. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, um, do you have any uh, like long boards? Like, do you like customize? Your yeah, own yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have Mongo on a on a long board itself. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, like, do you have like a line? Are you selling those? No, well, no. I mean, I, I've a lot of the stuff that I do. Um, as far as like 
customization and stuff like like customize, like customize sneakers and stuff like that. Yep. I do them once in a while. I haven't done any longboards or skateboards, but like I've done like two or three pairs of sneakers. Okay. But uh, I'm a muralist. Right off the gate, I was known as a muralist. Gotcha. Like they didn't know Perez. And, and as, that's where we met. Yeah. You know, and so you know, that's one thing, guys. The first time we met was about a couple years ago at a Black Lives Matter mural, and. This man was like, he talked on the camera a little bit, but he wasn't really feeling it. And I see so much growth in you. Thank I've you. I've seen, you know, you placed in different competitions and just different artwork. I've been following you the whole time. So like, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, thank yeah, you, man, thank you. doing your thing for sure. So for, for a kid who wants to come up, they love to draw and they want to be a muralist like you, what, what advice would you give them? Or like, what would you say to them as far as the business side goes, making a career out of this. All right, so as far as like, all right, I don't have a lot of advice. I'm still learning. Yep. I'm still learning. I've only been doing this for about two years. And don't go chasing that money. Don't go chasing that dollar. Do not. Like, I already did that before. Before my murals and before I started getting into the, like I, I chased a dollar, I did it. And, and it didn't bring me that, 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 joy and that and that happiness of 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 doing it out of heart so do not go chase that dollar do not go chase that dollar once you start doing what you want to do once you start doing that you know that thing whether it's art athletics whatever it is and you start doing it from the heart everything just starts coming in it's just that's how the universe works so like once you start focusing on your happiness and what you like to do everything else just comes everything else. if you're trying to make a career out of this don't go chase that dollar like do it all out of heart and and your career will be built on itself so that means also you need to start early yeah <laughs> yeah yeah you know? that yeah no that's yeah that's a good point that's yeah. another thing yeah that way you're not you don't have that pressure because there's a lot of times you know you especially say if you're you're 20 yeah 25 and you're like no i want to be a muralist of course you're like i gotta get money doing this or whatever you know what i'm saying that creates a whole different type of pressure and then yeah. if you start early and you don't have all those um responsibilities um, it, it'll be a lot easier um, and the people that I've been working with you know in and out of New Haven and stuff like that yeah. like we're always up to like bring somebody under our wing yeah. and teach them yeah and <laughs> you uh, you can't be ashamed to still want to learn or to ask somebody for help yes before anything what's the first thing that he said hey I'm still learning myself but truth is we should all be learning every day. No matter how good you are, or how good people think you are, there's something else you can pick up. Exactly. So you gotta drop the pride and just put the passion first. Um, yeah, and then as far as like, you know, as far as learning goes, um, there was techniques that, you know, my young assistant, you know, Maddie, she taught me about this mural. Like she was helping me out and, you know, certain type of blending and stuff that I, that I had to do on the top of this mural yeah. that I couldn't figure out. Yeah. So she was like, hey, listen, if you just take a step back and you do it this way, and I learned that technique from her. Right, and perfect example. Like he brought her on, but she taught him something. Exactly. You can learn from anybody. So let that be a very important takeaway from this conversation, nothing else. You can always learn. All right, man, so before we wrap this up, do you have anything coming up that you want to talk about and let the people know? You know, like, I want to close this out with like any artist any artist that that you know that wants to collaborate that wants to like you know like yo hit me up we'll talk because like i'm always looking into like doing collaborations um with you know it and it doesn't like if you're a tagger if you're you know you do spray paint you do roller paint you know whatever it is that you want to do like let me know um and if i have any anything coming up you know and, and i can you know we can squeeze our collaboration in there um i don't have a problem with that that is actually a question I wanted to ask oh, yeah. you about <laughs> the, oh, okay. the, the whole collaboration yeah. thing. Like, you know, uh, how do you feel as far as collaboration over competition? I think you kind of answered that question, but I, I know that there's some muralists who they want they want it all to themselves. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, what what's your take on that? 
Like, I know a lot of people say this a lot, but I only compete with myself. Like, there is no competition. Like, there's no competition because, because I'm only competing with me. I like to push my mind. So like, even when my mind says no, like I push it. So like, there is no competition because I only compete with myself in my own mind. And I say that because, as we mentioned before, everything's a learning process. So like, the reason why um, I encourage a lot of collaborations is because I learn from you, then you learn from me. And then I take whatever knowledge I taught from you and I bring it to the another artist yeah. and now I teach them that technique and then they teach me a technique and then we eventually collaborate again in the future and I'm like, hey, listen, this is what I learned from this other artist. Yeah. And then that's how we all learn and grow together. If we collaborate, the pot gets bigger and we all be able to eat more. Yeah, I hope that that sums it up for you. Yeah. That's, if you don't get that, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it clarifies a lot because I mean, there's, there's a big pot out here and, and we can all eat. Last question. You're an artist. What's your favorite color? Nope. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. Can't do it? Can't. Oh, no, man. there's no favorite color. Like, no favorite nope. color? Nope. No, there isn't because uh, look, guys. Yeah. I mean, if, if I had a favorite color, things wouldn't be so bright and vibrant. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. so, nope. That doesn't. All right. <laughs> Nope, no favorite colors. <laughs> hey, we we'll catch y'all in the next one. Make sure you're gonna follow my man. I'm gonna throw his Instagram right here on the screen. And that's it, man.